Hello, my name is Mediana and today this is a reading for Leo. So Leo, as usual, I'm doing a reading with my own deck. So the cards that you'll see are from this deck. And today, Leo, I feel like you are about to step into your place. But that really means that you are about to show what you're made of shine through your beautiful light and I feel like although it feels like you know that you were born for this it's almost like there is a little bit of a fear on the audience or who's going to watch you you know deliver your speech or see you being you and doing what you are what you do best right just be essentially who you are, the unique, powerful you, Leo. But I feel like there is, um, there is, it's almost like you need a little push and this push is coming because it's almost like there is no time to wait, right? It's almost like the show is on, you're about to enter stage. So now it's your time, now it's your cue to enter and you have to go, you cannot just be, you know, overthinking who's going to be there, who's not going to be there. Um, so let's show the cards because I feel like it's all about like a beautiful, it's almost like life as a theater, as a spectacle and how, you know, you perhaps, Leo, you know, being this beautiful, you know, it's like you are so bright, you are so like, um, self-confident Leo you know your essence is like wants to shine through and actually it's really coherent with the first card you know we have the Sun opening up the Sun is the card for Leo right and when this card came through it came through with the words or even like it's almost like it came through as a calling you know when we are in theater right and it's almost like that last minute call to the actors, right, that are in the backstage. It's almost like, it's show time, it's show time. It's like, there is no more waiting, right? It's show time for you, Leo. It's time for you to show what you came here to do, what you have been preparing your entire life, perhaps, and now it's time to show it, right? It's not only the uh, part of preparation or training or practicing, right? It's not time to stay in the backstage. Now it's time to take over the stage. And I feel like, you know, this card actually came through much more than the sun itself. It came through with the image of a sunflower, right? And the sunflower turns towards the sun, right? And this is you. It's almost like your essence is always turned towards the sun. It's always turned toward, towards the light. But I feel like even though you know that and you have been preparing your entire life because the sun has been calling you, right? And now it's like this final call about like it's showtime, right? Now is the real deal. Now it's not just practice. Now it's showtime. But with the seven of swords, it's almost like all of these swords here are the eyes that are going to be directly on you right so this is the audience but that you know this audience i don't feel like they are like mm, intending to judge you or anything like that it's almost like your fear being placed on top of those people who are going to be there watching you you see what i mean it's like you know that you are going to be you know the protagonist or like the main character like you are going to get a lot of attention and you know that and it's almost like you are anticipating it because it's almost like you have been training for this but there is still because it was just rehearsals right so when the real thing is here right in front of you and there is no escaping it or delaying it it's like you are going to confront this audience right and it really doesn't matter who's there or who's not there because that's the fear right this is what i was questioning when this card came through 
It's like, are you afraid of who is going to be there watching or are you afraid of who's not going to make it to the show, right? So it's like, it doesn't matter really who's going to be there, especially because it's like with this card coming next, right? Not only we have the sun, which is you, but we also have the wheel of fortune. And yes, this is talking about destiny, okay? But it's just like the, you know, the, the last message about destiny. Although it's almost like, do not worry about this word or the, like, uh, just the responsibility that maybe you may feel about fulfilling your destiny, right? It's just like, know that you have been preparing right the sunflower has been you know following the sun so you know what to do like it's internalized it's your essence it's your essence to just shine through and this wheel of fortune is talking about this rightful place because actually with this card i saw you know when i saw the sunflower in the middle of the stage right already it's almost like you are picturing yourself already in the stage and you know anticipating who's going to be there to to judge you or not but here it's almost like this is the vacant spot it's almost like you know on stage when you have you know an axe marking the place that you're supposed to stand on so this is what the will of fortune was talking about it's like it's just indicating where you're supposed to go. So it's like this very, um, well, I want to say unimportant just to like really take the weight off your shoulders, right? Of the responsibility of fulfilling this duty, fulfilling this um, responsibility of, you know, yes, it is part of your destiny. You have been practicing for it. Here it is. Like the vacant spot is there and it has this your name on it. So um there is a little bit of like freak out moment maybe right right when you're about to step into the stage because i feel like somehow you know the bigness of it right you know it's almost like you know the bigness of yourself of your essence so therefore you know the importance of this so it's almost like just consider this wheel of fortune as just this really simple mark on the stage you just have to get there and it's no big deal it's almost like really do not think about all of the responsibility of fulfilling your destiny right just you know take that off your shoulders because that that is not something that you really have to be concerned about right now and this is advice that actually is not coming from me as a reader it's coming from this guy here the king of cups so it's like I can see this King of Cups, right? Right, you know, holding the curtains for you to, you know, move on. It's like he's giving you the cue like, okay, Leo, it's show time. Now you have to go. So he's the one, you know, that is, it's almost like the, the last person that you're going to see when you give like this first step onto the stage, if it makes sense. And it is, well, it's coming through as a very loving, but also charismatic, which is something that you also have, right? So maybe you're, I don't feel like you're doubting yourself or your skills or your preparation. It's not that. It's almost like now you know that this is for real. So it's like just the importance of it. So it's almost like they are saying to you, Leo, do not think about how important this is. It's almost like they're trying to tone down a little bit like the importance of it, right? Or the like the bigness of this moment for you, Leo. So it's like they are giving their heart and soul to just provide any kind of support or, you know, those last kind of uh, really, really beautiful words of incentive just to make sure that you will know what you have to do and where you have to go. It's like, it's almost like they're saying, especially with this card coming next. It's like, they're saying, do not think about how big this is. It's like, it's really unimportant. You know, it's almost like they're saying, I just placed that X mark on the stage. So you just follow. And this six of pentacles coming next, it's almost like they're giving you the steps. It's like, it's almost like they're saying, it's only three steps away from you and then you'll find this mark which is so it's so cute because it's almost like they are really really trying to simplify the thing that is like 
maybe the biggest moment of your life or maybe it's something that you have been feeling like it's approaching right and now that it's here it's like you can feel the huge wave of maybe like anxiety you know of you know something that you know that maybe could be life-changing or you know fulfilling something that you have been preparing so it's almost like just trust that one you have the support yes this place is yours right it's like it's time for you to act now right like there's no times no time for rehearsal anymore right now it's time for the show to begin so yes your place is here your place is marked on the floor so you'll know when you get there and it's just a few steps ahead of you so don't worry if you feel like you're going to fall you know over your feet or on your face it's not going to happen it's like it's like what they are giving you right because being the six of pentacles it's like this beautiful give and take but it's almost like there's no they're not requesting anything of you it's almost like they're giving free advice in a sense or it's like they're just providing you with the exact amount of simple harmonious and you know very like um they're giving you the basic steps right it's not they're not over complicating it's almost like they can see that you are you know maybe a little bit afraid of you know going out onto the stage and you know you are going to be seen that is something also that i heard with the sun right you're going to be seen so maybe you are afraid of being seen for real right with your essence being totally exposed right so it's like it's really beautiful actually that what they're giving you it's like the exact amount of guidance to to take you exactly where you need to go and it's almost like from this point on when you take these three steps right and you arrive in your place right it's like you have been rehearsing to get to this point but now that is for real it's like everything will happen in a way that it'll be really really fast it's almost like you are so with the eight of wands next right this is the fastest card i mean in tarot and actually this card came through as it will all feel like a blur because it's almost like when you get to this point right after taking these steps and it's almost like here you have balance and harmony and tranquility because you were given exactly what you needed in the time that you needed to arrive at this spot right that has your name on it and it's like it's indicating the spot that you have to stand on when you arrive there right when you arrive at your rightful place in your destiny in a sense um so don't worry that's the message the entire message leo do not worry about what you have to do when you get there because it's almost like i'm seeing now this is almost like a portal that it's like it's transporting you into this state of flow that is going to pass really fast that is one thing like time will feel different right it's almost like you're going to step into this like not autopilot but you know when you have practiced something so much that once you are on you don't have to think right and it's exactly like perfect because what they were saying right is that you like the only thing that you have to do is to get there once you get there it will all flow naturally it's like it will just come out of you because you have been training to shine your light to bright as brightly as you can right and to be seen in a sense so everything will just pass as a blur it will go by really really fast and sooner rather than later i should say with the world card here ending this first part of the reading it is going to be over right leo so this is one thing that is really interesting because with this um destiny card or this spot that is you know your mark your cue your place to stand on the stage right it's like 
this it's almost like this is the vacant spot that was ready to be filled with your presence and when it ends you know very fast i should say it's almost like you had trained like so much for it that it will go by really really fast i'll just say that and here with the world it's like you have still the two axes here which were here right indicating the spot that you should arrive and once it's over it's almost like it's almost like i'm seeing like a, a dancer right taking over the stage it's like this is your starting point but there's a lot of movement around it it's like it you're not supposed to just stand there like there is something that you're supposed to do on the stage it's like the move it's almost like i'm seeing you tracing the the floor or tracing the stage with your movement and leaving a mark it's almost like you're well this card didn't this card come through for cancer yesterday about like they uh were designing their own map so it's a little bit like that for you leo but it's different in a sense that you're doing so from this starting point right it's like it was always your destiny to start from this initial spot. And once you were there, it's like the movement was just organic and natural and you would know exactly where to go and what to do and like this beautiful choreography, right? Because all of these lines here I'm seeing as like, either you're drawing like with your hands or I'm seeing actually like you moving through the stage right so this is the reason why i'm saying it's going to pass really um really fast you know quicker than you believe in the beginning obviously because it's like you already know the steps it's almost like uh you needed you know the final words of support from this guy before you stepped onto the stage that you know was simplifying the first few steps before you took on a very complex step-by-step -step choreography that you already knew right your body already knew right because it was already like you train for it that is one thing but it's also like it's it's what you were born to do so it's natural it's not something that yes you had to practice that part you did but it's also like something that you're a natural like so there's yes there is effort but the preparation is done like now now it's just like being it's just being it's a matter of like just exhaling all of the light right and being you and it's going to just you know it's going to end i think sooner than you realize it's almost like when it's over you're going to look around and you're going to hear all the applause and it's like wait what already <laughs> so i feel like it's going to be a little bit of a relief but it's also like you know um like uh panting a little bit like, because you know you have done a lot like you know being a dancer or you know just this image of maybe an actor on a stage but you know this is just a metaphor for life right it's the spectacle of life so whatever you do that you do so naturally and that you have been rehearsing it's like to take over the stage and do the real thing right like it is complex it's almost like you know uh just traveling around the world 10 times right so it's like you have managed to accomplish a really complex choreography right but it's done and you know people are it's almost like you are amazed that it's over and you know so fast and people are amazed that you managed to finish like perfectly right so it's really really beautiful leo um i understand completely this initial you know fear of being seen and being exposed but you were born for this leo um so yeah i'm going to pull more cards for you leo and also i'm going to pull from the astrological runes in the extended reading so if you want to join me there i'll be happy to see you if not i'll see you next time okay bye